Next question is from Veggie Lifts. Are knee sleeves necessary for powerlifting? <laughs> necessary. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So there's, Definitely. A, di- if there's look, a difference. If you want to look serious. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there's a difference between knee sleeves and knee wraps. So I want to first, I want to, you know, make sure we, we discern the difference, right? So knee wraps are very tight mm-hmm. and create a tremendous amount of pressure and sp- there's springiness in the knee wraps and stability in them. And you'll get, you'll add weight to the bar because the wraps are so tight and because when you put them on if you put on powerlifting knee wraps right it's hard to bend your knee when you have them on you can't really sit down with just body weight no it's it's, so it's like adding a a little bit of a spring to especially the bottom portion of the squat so we're not talking about that we're talking about knee wraps and knee wraps are kind of tight and they go around the knee do they add you know like strength to your 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 knee not really but why can people lift more with them we had an interview with Jordan Shallow the other day that hasn't aired, or maybe we'll air when we air this episode, but he talked about the different ways that the brain perceives signals. Mm-hmm. Pain is one of them. Pressure is another one, and pressure is faster than pain. And my theory now is when you wear a sleeve, and they say it warms up the joints, that's why they don't hurt. I think what's happening is the brain is perceiving the pressure of the knee sleeve, mm-hmm. and it's and you're not perceiving the pain as much. So I wear the knee sleeves, now my knees feel looser, and I feel like I can squat without warming up as much. I think that's right. probably plus. What's plus, it provides the feedback mechanism back that there's a bit of more stability yeah. uh, within that that joint itself. And if that is a conscious psychological barrier for you going into a squat, um, you know that's something. Immediately, there's going to be a performance uh, loss in, in terms of. If I'm if I'm dropping down in position, but I'm very conscious that my knees, you know, a bit of an issue, like there's a bit of instability there, mm-hmm. uh, you know, adding more demand, more load uh, to that situation is going to get you to, you know, it's going to expose that uh, that being the weak link. So to add the the sleeves, a lot of the times, like psychologically, you know, may help in terms of like feeling like you're just more stable, like a thunder vest. Yeah, it's like yeah. a thunder vest for your knees. <laughs> I love. Those. I mean, I think the 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 short and quick answer to this, uh, are they necessary, is is no. It's definitely not necessary. And in fact, if you can power lift without any of the tools, uh, and that's wraps and sleeves and whatever their other, you know, belt and all those popular, I mean, you're better off. I mean, if you if you can power lift and do well and perform and, and without any of those tools, you're going to be better off in real life uh, than if you have to use all those tools. Yeah. Now, there's some competitions in powerlifting yeah. that allow you to use you all these. You have to these. learn how to. Yeah, they l- allow you to use all these accessories. And so if you can, and there's an advantage to using some of these, then You're okay. squatting 1,000 pounds, I'd probably suggest it. Right, right. Yeah. So there's, there's, def- there's definitely an advantage to doing that, but uh, there's actually more benefits to you not if you don't have to. Yeah, I think if you compete and they allow knee wraps and a belt, uh, then you should train with them to learn how to use them because you can't just put them on the average person and expect them to lift more weight. There's a skill and technique and a, and a comfort and a feel that you get from using them. Um, so that's different. Now, if you now for the average person who's not going to actually go and compete in competitions and just wants to work out, I, here's why I don't like knee wraps uh, or excuse me, not knee wraps, but it, definitely not knee wraps, but knee sleeves. I think it it hides the issue. And I think it prevents people from solving the root issue. So if my knees kind of bother me and then I put a wrap on and Ooh, they feel a little better. I haven't solved the problem. You're not really listening to your body's feedback. No. And I would even go as far as to say, if you don't solve the problem and you allow yourself to train heavy because of knee uh, sleeves, then your, the, the risk of injury is even higher down the road because now I'm pushing through, or maybe my body's not perceiving the pain the same because of this outside pressure, signal and I can use more weight and now my my risk of injury later on becomes a bigger problem. Do you think more people use them uh, because they are trying to tamp down pain or do you think more use it because of the advantage it gives you for like the rebound effect? Well, knee, ra- knee sleeves don't give you a ton. You've ever worn sleeves? Yeah, yeah. They're not a huge they do, rebound though. effect. They do. Not really. I mean, what are you going to add? Two pounds? It's not like a wrap. Like that's a different ball game. Actual sleeves are more like, what, they, what do they say? It warms your joints up. Reduces pain, feels more comfortable. Sometimes you'll see bodybuilders wear them on their elbows. If you ever seen them do that, because yeah. it you know it feels. I think it's just not solving the cause. It allows you to push past pain, 
And there might be some value in that. Like I could see like a bodybuilder. They got the show coming up. Like I can't back off. I mean, I, I, I used them like playing around with them. I never used them consistently and uh, I didn't have pain. That's not why I put them on. I put them on because I felt uh, it, I had an advantage from coming, coming out of the hole. I mean, I, see, I get that from the compression pants too, but they're not compressing so much. Right. I think it's really the feedback. It mm -hmm. just feels tight. And so yeah, you don't have, get a whole lot of stored elastic energy. Yeah, yeah. that's not a ton, but I, I feel like that because like the way Jordan was explaining it, how it communicates yeah. the brain, your, your, your CNS probably allows you to perform a little bit better because of that outside, you know, kind of signal. Yeah. Interesting. But I mean, relying on it and not solving the, like if your back hurts, if you don't wear a belt, so you always wear a belt, like you're setting yourself up for right. some problems. You might want to figure out why the hell your back hurts in the first place. And that's how I feel about sleeves like this. Now, if you use a sleeve as a way to allow you to move in a way that solves the root cause then now the sleeves are being used, in my opinion, in a really good way. Yeah, I think it just it's become like a, a thing. You're you're a bodybuilder, you wear the weight belt around and you do it with tricep push downs yeah. and bicep curls and you do it the whole entire workout. You're a power lifter, you've got your knee sleeves either it's like part of the uniform rolled yeah. up or you got them hanging down on your ankles until you go do your deadlifts or like that or your squats. It's just a I think it's become an accessory as far as like a, you yeah. know like apparel. I remember as, as a kid, uh obviously bench press was the exercise. That's the one all the all the guys in high school talked about how much could you bench. So it was all, it was all, all I focused on was how strong I could get in a bench press because that's what the bragging rights came from. And I remember at one point, my wrist started to bother me because I would use this thumbless grip, this kind of like suicide grip, they call it. And my wrists were bothering me. I'm like, oh man, what am I going to do? And then someone's like, put on uh, you know, these wrist, uh, what were they, wrist wraps, right? And they actually went around your wrist. They were for power lifters mm -hmm. and they're tight. Mm -hmm. And lo and behold, my wrist didn't hurt anymore and I could bench more weight. Well, I never fixed the problem. Later on as an adult, I'm like, why do I'm wearing these? I don't want to wear these anymore. I took them off, wrist hurt again. I had to relearn technique and form. And then of course, over time, I was able to lift as much as I could before. But that's the issue that I, I see with some of the stuff is they don't solve the problem. They throw the bandaid on, they continue to push their body. And then you start to get problems later on that are, are harder to solve or maybe take longer uh, to solve. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.